So this is part two of the Edpuzzle tutorials. And once you have your class set up and you're logged in, you have to create assignments. So I'm from I'm at the home page right now. If you go over to my videos, then this is where you can create your videos, aka assignments. Um, so a couple of different options. You can upload an existing video. If you have a file on your computer, you can choose upload and then select the videos from wherever they may be stored on your computer. Or if you have them on your desktop, you can just drag them and drop them right on there. The other option, since most of you have your videos created, is to choose create a new video lesson. So when you do that, you can search existing videos and all these different popular uh, video sites. So if you knew the title to your YouTube video or channel, you could search for it up here, or you could just paste the URL. So if I wanted to, if I knew I had this video URL, I would just copy that and paste it in here. And then it once I have my video set, either if I upload it or find it online, it takes me through all of these steps up here. So you can see these icons. I can crop it and take out the stuff I don't want. I can record an audio track, like a, an opening, so I can personalize it, um, provide audio notes, and then add quizzes, and then be done with it. <clears throat> so if I want to crop it, you can choose to show me how. But if I just click play, then let's say I want to take out the first part and the last part and include just that chunk Then that's what I would do and then click next so now it's only showing that part of it and I can record an audio track to introduce it to the students so if I click this microphone here and then allow it I can say, hey, this is me talking, not the person in the video. So I'm recording my own voice over top, and this will personalize it for students if you want to do that. I don't think this you will be doing much of that, but if you want to use that, um, then you would just go on to the next, <coughs> and it would record your voice in place of that. If you don't like what you just did, you can remove the last recording or reset the whole thing. Um, yeah, don't know if you'll use that much. So if you go to audio notes, this is where you do the introductory comment. So my mistake on before. So if I want to add intro comment, I just click on this mic and now I'm saying, hey everybody, this is important, listen to it. I know it's not me, but somebody else explains it well too and you need to learn it, so don't screw up. When I click stop, it'll put that there, and then students will just click on it when it goes to them. So that's pretty much how you create your videos and do some of the introductory stuff. We're going to get into the quizzes in the next one. Um, so let's see if you can do that on your own now. And this is the end of part two. Thanks.